One of the most common questions people keep emailing me about patella tenitis is, do you recommend icing? And to give you a precise answer, it depends. Rest, ice, compression and elevation is the standard approach for dealing with sports injury. So it's no surprise that icing is also among the very first recommendations you will find if you start looking for advice on patella tendinitis. Yet, the research on icing for tendinopathy is still thin and there is no agreement on how icing works or doesn't work. But there's a consensus among scientists and clinicians that Icing is fantastic for dealing with acute tendon pain after injury or after a hard training session. Icing is also great for getting tendonitis pain flare-ups under control. Icing reduces blood flow, swelling and it's anti-inflammatory. Essentially, icing is an all-natural anti-inflammatory and painkiller. It's not as strong as ibuprofen, but it's still a great alternative to try early in the game if your tendons are easily irritated. And here's how you do it. The fastest and cheapest way to ice tendons is to just use ice cubes from your cooler because let's face it, even if you have an ice wrap somewhere, it's probably not in your freezer. If you know you're going to ice a larger area, you can also freeze water in a disposable plastic cup and use that instead. Hold the ice with a towel and gently massage the tendon for up to three minutes or until you can no longer feel anything when touching the skin, whatever comes first. You then have to wait until the skin is warm again before icing another time. But aside from that, you can ice as often as you like. But sometimes icing doesn't work, especially if you have stiff tendons or if your tendonitis has already become chronic. And if that's the case, you may want to try heat instead. Heat increases blood circulation and tissue elasticity. And back when I had tendonitis, I noticed that whenever I would ride my bike in the wintertime, the knee would feel especially bad. So. I decided to try the opposite. I filled a warm water bottle with hot water, placed it on my knees and then wrapped a towel around my legs to keep the heat in. And just five minutes of that would already make my knees feel so much better. If you decide to try this, please be careful not to burn yourself. Notice that one side of the warm water bottle has a ribbed surface and that's the side you want to place against your pants. And don't use boiling water. The only times when using heat is not a good idea is when you're going through a flare up of pain or when you've only had tendonitis for a short time. So the key takeaways are that you can use ice to reduce inflammation and for pain management, and that you can try heat for dealing with stiff tendons and chronic tendon injuries. Now here's something I'd love for you to give me some feedback on. I've been thinking about doing a whole series of these short little FAQ videos on patella tendonitis. So if you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more like it in the future, post a comment below this video and let me know. And if you have any questions about patella tendinitis that you'd like me to answer in a future edition of what I've tentatively called Tendinitis Tuesday, put that in your comment as well. Let's see how this goes and hopefully we'll be back for more next week. So, this is your hero.